Hello friends, welcome to dialandroid.com. Today I am going to review the KPA firmware which is based on Ice Cream Sandwich. This is the latest leak from Sam Mobile and till now I can say it's much more stable than any previous or current existing ICS firmware. So let me review it. First just see the lock screen. It's the same uh, animation which you have seen in the previous ICS builds. If you swipe it, it will show the lock. Okay, now let me show you the form, current firmware first. Go to about phone. Uh, as you can see, it's 4.0.3. It's XX KPA firmware. And please note that I have not installed any tweaks, any root. It's pure KPA firmware which we have got from Sam Mobile. Okay, now, firstly, uh, everybody wants to know whether 3G data is working or not. As you can already see, uh, the 3G icon on top of the notification bar. So let me show you whether data is working properly or not. As you can see the edge icon and incoming and outgoing data. Uh, to show the browser performance, let me open the Dial Android website. Although it depends on the 3G speed, but still. You can see the rendering and all. Here you go. It's pretty good. This is the stock from your uh, browser. There is no external browser I am using. This one is the stock browser. Uh, you have so many new features compared to the gingerbread. You have more control, you can request desktop size, you can open new window, new incognito window and uh, in the settings especially in the accessibility you have some very good options like text zoom and window font size and all. And apart from that, yeah, almost everything is same. Okay, now the next important thing is the Wi-Fi. Let me switch on the Wi-Fi, I already set it up. It should take a minute. Yes, you can see, now I am connected. Okay, let me again open the dial and write website on Wi-Fi network. Here you go. So it's working fine. You should not be having any issue with the Wi-Fi and data at least. Apart from that, Bluetooth is also working fine. I don't have any other Bluetooth as I would have shown you. After that, uh, yeah, one problem. It was there in previous ICS also. You can see this notification, network notification bars. Even your network is 0 or 10% or 100%, it will show the full always. So that's a drawback. Apart from that, it will not automatically set, set the time and date, depending on the reason. So what's next? Let me check the camera. Here you can see it's working properly. I'll just take a snap just for sample view. So here you go. So it's quite decent enough. And uh, the video recording. Yes, you can see video recording is also working. Okay, now uh, many of us, uh, many of your you have complained that market is not working in the previous leaks. Although it was working, but let me show you in this version. It is completely working and you can easily download any app and all. And let me show you the version of it. Here you can see it's 3.4.4 version. Now, apart from that, you always look for the face lock in ICS. But bad news, it's not working in this firmware also. When you try to set up, uh, you can set it up from the security it again end up in the force close so there is no point in trying but I will try to find out some solutions to it and post on the blog ok now what are the new features compared to the gingerbread last time in previous ICS leak firmwares this data usage was not proper but in this firmware you can you can see uh, how much I have used in the since the last flash uh, it, you can set your data limit you can easily watch so that operator doesn't charge if you go beyond the data limit Apart from that, what is working properly is this battery states. In previous ICS firmwares, you can see the remaining battery percentage, but these states are not available. But in this, it's working properly fine, so you can make use of it. Okay, now uh, I will not be able to comment on battery, but I will say it's decent enough, and I will suggest to use this power, these power saving features. If you switch on both, your battery life will uh, increase substantially. 
Okay, now apart from this uh, much hyped TouchWiz with ICS, uh, in this firmware especially it's working quite properly. So you can see the, all the, these TouchWiz features, it's working fine. Uh, if you right swipe it will call, left swipe it will message and the brightness trick uh, and the usual screenshot taking for ice cream sandwich you can do it will come to the notification bar. There you go.